seen the Jelly Belly Airport, the world's smallest airport. I'm going to drive it down here and show you what it looks like. Go all the way down to the left, or maybe he's going to do it to the right thing. Depends on the direction of the wind. But look up in the sky as Kent Peach starts his aerobatic routine. In the interstate cadet. You saw Kent acting as the uh, Chuck Dramamine, the escaped prisoner who did his comedy act towards the opening of the show. Now he shows you the aerobatic capability of the little interstate cadet. Only 90 horsepower, this was built in 1941. And I gotta tell you that this type of airplane, it wasn't this particular airplane, but this type of airplane was the first airplane shot at at Pearl Harbor. This is true. The, uh, there was a lady instructor by the name of uh, Cornelius Fort, who was giving dual instruction to a young male student, when a Japanese Zero, one of the first across the coastline, attacked her airplane. She immediately knew what was happening. She set the ground, set the airplane back down on the ground, and they lived out the attack that way. 90 horsepower and only weighs 800 pounds. This particular airplane was built in 1941 at El Segundo, California. Kent does fly it so very well. He's from Minot, North Dakota. Soloed in a complex airplane, including Mark 21. Got his pilot's license and 17th birthday. Continue to build time. Blue charter air handles. The dual air vessel. Like I said, this is, if you missed it earlier, this is the second of three acts that uh, it does. The first act was the comedy routine where he acted like an escaped prisoner who built an airplane in prison. The second one is this where he demonstrates his aerobatic capability and then does the landing on top of the Jelly Belly Motorhome Airport. And then he does what we call a dead stick he takes the airplane up to 6,000 feet, shuts down the engine, stops the propeller, starts it out with a 10-turn spin, and he does an aerobatic routine all the way to the ground with no power, no propeller turning. And that culminates in myself out on the runway, standing out there with my arm outstretched and my palm open, and he wants to see if he can do all of his aerobatic routine, land the airplane without any power, and roll up and put the hub of that propeller in my hand. I don't think we can do it, but we're going to see if he can. All about energy management. Okay, here we go, our first try on the Jelly Belly Airport. So, Kent Peach and the Jelly Belly Interstate. Slowing it down, doing about 50 miles an hour in the truck. Excuse me, in the airport. All right, puts the wheels down. All right, he bounced there. Did he get it though? He looks up, look at the tail, look at the wing come up. Up, a little gust of wind there. Watch it, Kent, watch it. Kent, watch it, yeah. That wing came way high there. Pull up, Kent. Turning the Jelly Belly Airport around now. Let's see what Kent does. He doesn't like to miss. I know that. Wind kind of indifferent out here. It'll be gusty for a second, then it'll drop off for nothing, and then it'll be steady for a few minutes, and then it'll get out of the trees. Kent. Yeah. 
out of the trees. Don't go near the trees, kids. Ah. Ah. Truck is around, the airport is around. Now here comes it. Now see, just as soon as we turned around, the wind started blowing again. Pretty hard, so I don't know if he'll be able to make it or not. Wind just suddenly picked up from dead nothing. Alright, be careful now, you got a crosswind. Left crosswind. Keep that left wind down a little bit. Right rudder. Whoop. Got two wheels on. The tail is moving around. The tail is moving around. Let's see if he can get it in where he's got all the way forward so he can put the tail wheel down. I don't think he's going to make it. Nope. All right, one more try. Our boss says, Kent, you got one more try. That's it. One more try. All right, here he comes back. One more time, Ken. Air Boss says, look, we're out of time. You can try it one more time, and then that's it. Heard the Air Boss say we went 0609 with gusts to 1-2. Trees, Ken. Oh, you ever see this? Here we go. 50 miles an hour on the Jelly Belly Airport. 10 feet approaching fast. Now watch him as he, he stands on the rudder to help slow the airplane down there. We're looking. Easy. Go on down, Kent. Go on down. We don't have all day. Sinking. Stops the sinking. Got two wheels on, let's say now. Is he going to be able to get it all the way to forward? And he's on. Wow. <laughs> Jelly Belly Airport with uh, Jelly Belly Kid Peach. You can see the tail all the way down there. I don't know if he's going to have time to... Uh, let me ask uh, our air boss, George Klein, if he's going to turn around and show you the airplane on top of the... Jelly Belly. George, going to turn around and show us or go, up, go up to the hangar? Pretty gusty winds to turn around, I would think. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, David Windmiller in an airplane that you've probably never heard of. There's not many of them around. It's called a Zipco Edge 540. It's built in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And it is awesome. It is powerful.
they have been advised that uh, David, we're going to work on a small problem with his airplane, but we'll keep moving ahead with the West Point jump team. Jump team is already airborne, so we'll wait to see. Here comes Kent Peach down there, ladies and gentlemen, with the airplane on top of the Jelly Belly Airport. Just barely fits on that motorhome. Turn him into the wind. Pick up some speed on the truck and watch him just fly off of there very quickly. Watch how quickly the tail will come up and he'll leave that. George Klein, our air boss, cleared it down the runway. Go ahead and lift off and land and uh, taxi back to parking. Here we go. Tail's already up. Accelerating now to about 25, 30 miles an hour. Getting up to about 40. He's got the throttle all the way forward on the interstate cadet. Back on the stick just about now and we should be airborne. What? <laughs> there he goes. Chuck Dramamy, the comedy pilot from earlier on. All right, George Klein, our air boss, has called in the uh, West Point Lakota helicopter. 